we're in the winter and I still like to boost them up because I'm trying to pull fish in, you know, they're hanging mid-water, they're not doing a lot, so you're trying to grab their attention. As you can see, these are white baits, but through the amount of time they've been soaking in like the nutcracker flavour and getting boosted up, they turn like a bit of a, it's like a bit of a treacly colour. Now that's telling me that like the flavour's gone right in. Now, like I said before, I'm baiting areas, but when I'm actually fishing, until I get a bite, I'm just fishing like boosted pop-ups, hook baits. Now, you'll come to a period in time where they sort of get a bit wise to that, they don't want it. So what um, Urban Baits have now done is the washed out version. These are the pink ones, and um, I'm not just saying this, but the colour is uh, bang on. A washed out pink, it's almost like it's a white, it's uh, bang on. Um, these can be cast around, you know, all of this washing baits out and stuff. I don't uh, really believe in that, like to actually wash them out by hand, but to actually, if you're going to do it, have a washed out bait, surely you just don't put the flavour in or quite as much, which means it sort of mimics um, a bait that's been in the water for ages. So check these out. They do them in white and pink. <laughs> Right, this is a new product from Urban Baits. It's um, their white cork ball pop-ups. But what you've got to remember with cork ball pop-ups, they've only got a tiny little bit of paste wrapped around them. And if you've got nuisance fish and you want to leave a hook bait in position for quite a long time, I'm saying at least 12 to 36 hours, this can be whittled down by like little fish fry, etc. So what um, Terry's done at Urban, right, yeah, has had these meshed up. Now, for a winter edge, I've been messing around with this for quite a long time and normally things I do get brought into the urban camp right yeah six to twelve months later and this is uh, the nutcracker flavour now what I like to do is to um, boost these up so I'm fishing at times a lot of single look baits I might be priming areas what I mean is like baiting them up but I might chuck a single out so I want m like maximum pull, pull into the hook bait so by boosting these hook baits up gives them a real big like, like boost of pulling power. Right, this is what I do when I'm boosting my um, hook baits. Get some of this. I don't go mad with it. There's no need to like for it to swim in. You just want like a few mil in there. So there's plenty to coat all the hook baits, but importantly, the mesh, because it then seeps into the mesh and this stays in longer as well, which means they're, they're boosted for even longer, which is an edge a few of us have had for quite a few years. I normally do it with like a bit of salt and stuff, right? But anyway, I like to do this a few oh, weeks, months in advance. So they're, you know, they're well and truly. That's about it. We're talking three to five mil max. Once they're in there, I mean, I leave them at home for my missus and kids. And what they do is, uh, I've probably got about 10 jars at home on the go and they turn them every day. So like, all you do is just turn them up, turn them down. And this gives them an even like coating and it soaks in and they're what I call supercharged, boosted to, he boosted to hell. These are the white ones, of course. Cork ball pop-ups. Right, another edge I've been using. Not just in the winter, I use it in the summer. Now, I, I like to mature my hook baits. What this means is I'm actually making them become what I call like radioactive. I'm activating like natural salts and sugars in the bait to release them out by making them go, yeah, okay, mouldy white. I'm not, I'm not worried about them sticky. Sticky's fine, right? Green is no good, but it's just got a white covering on them, right? In the winter, this is a problem to get them like this because it can take weeks, even sitting in the van or whatever. But a quick way um, and a tip to get these baits white is you know what the missus is like. She has a house hot in the winter like 20 odd degrees so keep the baits take them out the freezer and then have them, i reckon two three days in the house and they'll start to turn white you've got to keep monitoring them and keep turning them and keep the bag open now once they're um once they're matured 
sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's a bit of mix and match. I don't like to make every time I go fishing, especially on the same lake, it's all the same. I change things, tight lines, slack lines, boosted hook baits, washed out hook baits, short hook links, long hook links, etc, etc, right? Yeah, so they're not picking up and seeing the same thing. Now I use some nutcracker glug. Now this, what this does is when you put it in the bait, and then baits have got that white mould round them, right? Yeah, they're like radioactive. This dissolves in the flavour, the, the liquid. And it's almost like you're putting liver cracker on them, right? Yeah. And then right at the very end, I get some liver cracker. This is another edge what's been brought forward into the, the urban baits range. Just put them in, cover them again, all over. And it's just, you shake them around in the bag. I've shown this many times and you can see this on the outside here. The, the hook baits um, get covered in it and the free offering. So it's, because so, sometimes I put a hook bait in here, several of them, and they get the same. And then you, I do mesh my own hook baits. I mean, I'm letting a few secrets out here, like little edges I do. Keeps you in front of the rest and it does keep the carp guessing and, and the carp coming. But try this, it does work.